ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. And we are back in this park. The one with the awesome Superman coaster. Um, I still am having builder's block with the Cedar Fair Park, so I'm not working on it because, again, I'd rather build something good than build something not good. And what the hell is that train doing? This is a flying coaster, and those flying cars are not in the fly position. Neither are those. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill people? You're not an inverted coaster. You're a flying coaster. Learn how to work like one. I'm sure that as soon as it gets back in here, it's gonna... Oh yeah, you thought you were flying, but guess what? You're not. And you. You're fired. Idiot. Now, anyways, um, I've also kind of decided that this isn't going to be a, a cedar, f or not a cedar fair park. Of course it's not. It's not going to be a traditional Six Flags park. It's going to be a DC park. So, this area right here, at least this section along here, is going to be Metropolis. Um, I originally wanted this to be like the Daily Planet, but after building this version, I'm like, this isn't this isn't Daily Planet-ish at all. This looks like some sort of like 1700s like American style building, um, not a skyscraper. Um, I'd say this one can exist. Like it's supposed to be like an old newsstand, maybe like the original Daily Planet. That's going to be a big one. Um, so I'm probably going to start uh, start over on some of that at least. Maybe get rid of that and just build up higher. And then I built the um, Lex Luthor drop tower that was that is currently here. But I'm going to move it down here. And I'm probably not going to use this entire thing. It's probably going to go about uh, here-ish and cut it off here so I can have like a... That's going to have like a gigantic skyscraper. Like a, like a white... Maybe with like I'm not sure what I want the accents to be, but that's gonna be a thing. Um, but anyways, enough of enough of Metropolis. Let's talk about a different superhero, one that reigns from an island of women. Um, Wonder Woman. I decided that she deserves her her own little area, and it's actually a, a pretty big area. Um, this is the island or land of Themyscira, and it's obviously not done yet, but I want to show off kind of what my, uh, my main plan is for this area. So, right here you have the entrance. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to keep it like that, because it, it honestly looks kind of lame. Probably just get rid of those and add something else there for the entrance. Um, those also aren't even. I just realized that. I will fix that. Um, right here I have uh, just a little um, stand that has um, priority pass sales and a hat stall. As you can see the hat stalls are immensely popular. Everyone wants to get their their pirate hat from Themyscira or maybe a crown. Um, I people keep complaining that the the queue is full for this and yes it is but my my plan is for there to be one priority pass like sales booth per land and then over here in like the main plaza area I'm going to have like a bank of like like four on one side four on the other adjustive information booth so if people do want to buy a quick queue or whatever it's called priority pass they can just buy it there and then they like so that they don't have to walk all the way over here and buy or buy it at every single land that they go to this is more like oh i decided that i want to get a quick i keep calling it quick queue like it's bush gardens the priority pass um i am going to slap down a quick et M stand not not a Caribbean one that doesn't quite work uh, custom ATM yep just that that's whoa I want 
Yes, I just want you to just slap down right there. What the crap are you doing? Go on. Go. Go. Oh, holy crap. Alright. Uh, well, let me do it. I think I want it. Whoa! Spinning like crazy. Uh... Connect. There we go. How's that look? Okay, I don't like how they it makes a blank path. And um what Oh um apparently that's in the ground. D I I want to delete it. Let me delete this ATM machine. Um, I can't. Select building. Move. That was really, really weird. So... Uh, select building. Delete. Because I did, I did not like that. See, this is why I shouldn't let myself... Oh, hey, look, we're back. Um, The game decided that it wanted to crash after I deleted the path. Fortunately, um, it did not autosave, so it's like I never tried to build an ATM, which is great. Also, I think that in the last part, I, like in my last recording, I said ATM machine, which is redundant, because you're saying automatic, automated teller machine machine. Don't, don't be an idiot. If, don't call it an ATM machine. It's just an ATM. Don't be like me. But anyway, so going over what I want to do with the rest of this area, um, I'm probably going to add restrooms right here, because just in case people uh, crap their pants or are going to crap their pants after riding Wonder Woman, which is a badass roller coaster fitting of the superheroine. Also, perfect operations does not stack at all. Um, some restrooms right there. Right here, I want to add like a restaurant. And if one doesn't fit here, then I may try to cram a dark ride in. And if I can't, or a dark ride, a flat ride. If I can't cram a flat ride in there, well then I'll just throw down some trees and rocks. It'll look pretty. And if it, if the restaurant doesn't fit there, then I'll put it over here. However, if it does fit there, then I want a flat ride right here, because I think that'll look cool. Then I'll just theme up this area. Then this right here will be like the exit of the land. Or I could put a dark... Or I keep calling it a dark ride. There's not dark rides in this game yet. I would put the flat ride right here. I already know what flat ride I want, and that is the sundial because in my head I'm like that ride could be lasso of truth and that'd be awesome because it's huge and it kind of makes oh yeah there's no way in hell that's fitting there I don't even think that'll fit here uh yeah I'm pretty sure that's not gonna fit there let's see if the swing profile would be there it'll fit there how is that floating much though Ye it is but not by a lot Let's see how low can I get it to there whoa flying away and then flying immediately back do I like that though? I kind of do. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Might stay, might not. But I keep getting distracted. Like this isn't going to be like a full buildy video or anything. It's more just me showing off what I've done. So like I said, there's the entrance. Now, let's walk through the queue of this. 
So, on your right hand side you have the priority pass entrance, which a lot of people are using. And right here you have the first queue house, like I don't really know exactly what you would call the theming of this queue house, like I kind of used what in my head was Greek or Roman architecture and I was like, okay, well I'll just, I'll just use that. And as far as the lights go, um, they were kind of the only ones with a more, like, ethereal, like, mystic vibe to it that weren't overly, um, fairy tale or pirate, so I went with those, and I wasn't going to use generic lighting because that's stupid. So yeah, you walk through the queue, then you have a second smaller queue house, not, not too big at all. So if you're like, oh no, I just waited and all that, now I've got to wait and all this, shut up, it's not that long. Right here you have the priority pass um, exit that leads into the normal queue. Now let me give you guys a quick tutorial on how to properly use um, the priority pass. So, you want the priority pass to start at an early point in the line. Not so, like, not too far in as to where people will have to wait in line, but early enough, or, and not too early to the point where it's right there because it'll create a blockage temporarily. You see how those people stopped right there? Happens all the time where they look at it and they keep going. If you put it right there, people will stop in front and say, the coaster, like, the queue for a coaster number blah 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 is full, even though it's not. So don't put it there. Then, you want the exit for the priority pass leading into the normal queue to go somewhere relatively in between um, the station and here like you want to have a good amount so that um, people can still cycle through and be able to stop on the area in between like originally I had it right here and people would um, people stop like let's watch people pulse through so okay they went and now that spot right there is clear, so they're going to go, they're going to stop, and then they're going to go. So there, there's a pattern, and the way that it was working when it was right here just would not go. Um, trains were not filling up quick enough for them to leave, like, and a train would stop in that the block section right there for about 10 seconds. It also doesn't help that these people have no really sense of urgency when it comes to leaving. But like right now... Uh, let's watch this dispatch. So that train right there is already leaving. That train right there has just now hit those brakes, which is perfect. And will this train even have to stop? For a few seconds. And you know what? That's fine. That just builds intensity or anticipation. But I'm getting too far ahead of myself. So yeah, after that... You head up into this, I guess, Parthenon-inspired um, station, which I love. Um, Silverit did a Parthenon-style building a million times better than I did, and like I've said, I'll never ever be on his level, but I can at least try and make something that looks decent, and I feel like I achieved that. It's very, very open, which I think those style of buildings are. Um, what else? I've... I added a little walkway heading around because I didn't want to break up the, um... Like, I didn't want to just have an open area. I want it to be like, you're heading... Like, I in my head, I made up, like, a whole story about what happens on this ride. And that is that, like, you're... Like, as the guest, like, you're part of, like, one of the first groups of man to be allowed back into Themyscira after however many years. And you're here to tour, um, like, the gardens of Themyscira. And you're supposed to, like, get on this thing so, like, you can get transported into, like, some of the, like more like private gardens and that's why they're there and that they have like the harnesses but then you dispatch you go through here then you get word that um, the island is under attack and then you launch and you head into battle so yeah um, 
this right here is supposed to be kind of like a hanging gardens area. Um, I do plan on adding more scenery over here. I added these right here to hide underneath it. And I feel like it adds some nice little details. Ignore the anchor, although they did have they did have boats. I'm sure that they used some sort of anchor so that they wouldn't move. Maybe it was just a heavy rock. I don't know. And yeah, that's. I kind of want to add like some uh, some near miss features, although I'm not exactly sure how because none of the elements really get too close to the floor except for right here. This right here could be my one spot for a near miss element. Maybe go into some sort of like um, decrepit, battle worn, um, like building like that style. Only it'll be distressed and it'll add like smoke coming out of it or something. I could actually just do that with the majority of the the theming over here. Just make it look like it's it's been battle ridden. So maybe that's what I will do. Now, like I've said before, I am definitely no tease, so let's take go for a ride on this coaster. Coaster 30 tickets are a steal, and it looks awesome. Well, you should know because you're on it. The ratings for it are... 5.3, 3.4, 1.3. The only reason I can figure that it's the excitement is that low is because of either stopping on the launch section or maybe the mid-course or just those breaks right there. Because other than that, it's it's pretty non-stop. Now, like I said, let's go... F no, not you. Get out of here. Perfect. Now we sitting here like oh no we're under attack prepare for battle you know like the wonder woman music yeah there would be like Onboard audio and it'd be super cool, it'd be like behind the speakers. Maybe I'll do a, another POV when it's done with the actual music. <coughs> uh. Sorry, my throat's kind of dry. <sighs> Into that little near miss. Very, very tight helix into a corkscrew, into another tight helix, and then into the brakes. So it's definitely a more fast paced style wing coaster, unlike literally any other wing coaster that's been made. And look, just. I am so proud of, like, my blocking, because that was such a perfect dispatch. Like, it's probably unattainable in real life, but. Hey, you better keep going. Thank you. But yeah, I think that this is off to a pretty good start. And probably look forward to seeing this more in the future than um, the Cedar Fair Park until I can figure out exactly what I want to do. I didn't want to have two projects going at the same time, but I mean, I'd rather have me doing something than nothing. And this right here, I'm definitely doing something, and to be honest, I think it already looks a little bit better than my Cedar Fair Park. That's also because I wasn't really trying too hard to give it actual theming, and with this, I obviously am. So, yeah, um, hopefully in the next part I'll have some more cool things to show you, whether it's uh, just restrooms or more shrubberies, but I would like to actually start theming over here and finishing off the area then maybe even working on that some more but again the the mind is a complicated thing and I don't know what I'll think of to build so it's kind of a toss-up so yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time